Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Remnant from the Ashes here at Marauder. I'm Matt, and today we're going to continue our adventure. We've finished the mission where we have to turn on the reactor with a uh, homegirl who helps us pick our class and first suits us up with weapons. However, now we need to return to Commander Ford so she can give us more exposition so we know what we're doing down here. Uh, I picked up an immune... Oh, uh, excuse me, a luminite crystal. I read that as an immune crystal. Not quite as strong as I had hoped in my brain. However, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be useful to us. Who knows what Luminite Great does? Great work with the reactor, friend. You make a good team. What's your name? I don't remember. I never heard it. We have yet to be rewarded for exploration in this game. That's a bummer. Uh, sure but. is good to have some light around here. <laughs> Hello, Fallout looking man. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast, when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? That's the spirit. Uh, here, I want you to have this. He seems Not a wise man. Can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay, at least for a while. There's our souls mechanic. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. <laughs> Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. So this is our fire link. Stone there, free of charge. Take good care of it, because the rest of the world ain't nice. Oh, one more thing. Ellen, uh, Commander Ford, she knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. Oh, Traveler. The Dragon Heart can be used to replenish lost health. There are a limited number of uses before the power is depleted. So, oh, so that's my Estus flask, actually. Dragon Heart charges are replenished after resting at a checkpoint or dying. Press LB to use Dragonheart. Alright, we'll just rip it out of our pack. Three Estus Flask use at this point, but there is also consumable healing. Nice Great way to mix work it with up. The reactor, friend. You make a good team. You already told me that. I do wish that on the map there was like a waypoint that took you to Commander Ford or anywhere you need to go for your purposes. Cause it's sort of like not souls like to have a map, but souls like to not have a waypoint. But I guess in a shooter, or sort of, I don't know how open world this game will become, or if you know, little <coughs> side missions and things like that. But maybe that's just their way of uh, maybe trying to keep things organized on that front. We don't know yet. Uh, Ford was upstairs, if I recall. So we'll head back up there. I don't remember that guy's name. <laughs> Gave me the dragon heart, but he seemed Glad dope. Glad to see you got the reactor running. And I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. It stopped me right in the door. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason, Ben. I imagine he said I could help you. Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. I forgot to mention the You've founder. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm with, but I doubt you'll last long out there without. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. Come see me after. All right, time to go upgrade my equipment. We learn about our upgrade system <coughs> next. What's up, Riggs? Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city. As a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Upgrading guns and armor. Rigs can be, uh, or excuse me, rigs can upgrade your guns and armor with materials found in the world or by defeating enemies. Upgrading your guns and armor is essential to keeping up with the increasingly difficult enemies in the game. So we have these little currencies, euros. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What is the cost? So I have 282 and it's 150. Now, are those scraps I'm finding on the ground? So I can upgrade my gun to get more damage. I still don't know how to use the scrap hatchet. 
I have no armor, so I think we should do that. <coughs> well, can you upgrade it? No. I don't know if I just don't have what I need or what, but we're not there yet. I'm going to upgrade. I can only upgrade one item. It's got to be that, right? Okay. All right. Hey, now that's better. Oh, and uh, take this. It's oh. not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. No wonder I couldn't upgrade. I was going to get that. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. Why is this audio fading out like that? Oh, oh, it's probably my other earbud, which I don't have in. The cultist hat. It's true. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. If Everybody you need here any so nice. weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. Cool, man. <clears throat> Sup, girl? You seem super friendly before. I definitely like my outfit better. I feel like a fucking dope necromancer Indiana Jones. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. <sighs> Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. I wonder what Ellie was from from Last of Us. Root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer, and you're a pain in my ass. Fuck you. I'm not some scrap peddler. Got it? I don't upgrade trash. It's the apocalypse. I let's see what we're dealing with here. This will help keep you on your feet, along with anyone else fool enough to join you. That's all you get. Get me more components and I'll make more. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill her with kindness. Okay, so she gives us mods. Weapon mods are used to augment the power of your ranged weapons. When equipped, a, a weapon mod, excuse me, a weapon generates mod power uh, by inflicting damage on enemy targets. When the power meter is full, press RB to activate the weapon mod. So it's like a special. Some weapon mods activate immediately. Others activate an, alter, uh, an alternate fire mode for the weapon, allowing you to shoot powerful projectiles with devastating effects. Weapon mods can be equipped by going into the inventory screen, selecting a long-ranged weapon, and hitting X to equip a weapon mod to that weapon. So we have the Mender's Aura. Creates a healing pool that heals 10 health per second <coughs> for 10 seconds. That's 100 health, y'all. I might as well do it on the weapon that I'm going to have out. Glad to have a mod on it. If you liked it, then you should have put a mod on it. If you liked it, then you should have put a mod on it. I need to figure out how we get out. Oh, I did it. Triangle, 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 triangle. Triangle, 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 triangle. How do I get out? Oh, if I'm not staring down the sights, then you do a melee. Oh, okay. I wondered about that. We mentioned that in the last episode. We weren't trying to do melee. If you're staring down the sights, it'll be the gun you have. But if you let go, you do melee. So there is no firing from the hip, though. That's important to remember. The rune stall. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. Ooh. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can... Get the thing running. Well, here's hoping it doesn't. She reminds me yeah. of uh, Carol from The Walking Dead. Which is high praise, honestly. Well, I don't know what happened in the story after, like, season, like, 97. But for there was a time that being Carol was high praise. What in the hell am I doing? Going to the basement or something? So many words. All right, I'm going to use this time to explore the base a little bit. I think we've done this... Um, to a degree. You know what this game kind of reminds me of so far is uh, that <coughs> Vampire the Masquerade. 
just in its feel and quality. All right, I mentioned I would read more when I committed to a Let's Play, and here we are. <coughs> okay, so we're, we know something about our time. It's April 69. I guess it could be in the future, but I imagine it's closer to that. So i got to think we're somewhere in like the late 60s, early 70s. It's been months now. The ward almost feels normal. We clean the bodies out, though there are some doors we still can't get into. Commander Ford has us looking for survivors, getting them into the ward. He's a brave man, smart, not like the bastards who got us into this mist. Thanks to Ford, we survived the wave of the root invasion. I assume this is our grandpa. Uh, which is more than can be said for the rest of the world. The root didn't just come out of the wards. They attacked all over, all at once. No one was ready. Armies were overwhelmed. France even tried nukes. Nukes on their own land. Then they went quiet. We've lost all communication with anyone. The city's a war gone. A war zone. A war gone. We're surviving, but barely. How long can we do this? And this one's from May. So we know we're easily in the 70s, by the way. I guess not easily. I'm just assuming. I've been having dreams lately. I can hear the roots, smell them, watch them from the inside. Or watch them from inside their own heads as they hunt down and slaughter the survivors. When I wake up, I can still feel their joy, their rage. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember who I am and where I am. It's freaking me out. We lost so many people today. Took control of a water tower, though. It'll keep us alive. But I keep wondering if it's worth it. So many died that we can, what, scrape by until they kill us, too? Commander Ford spoke for the dead. Assured, uh, assured us that their sacrifices would not be forgotten. So long as we have a breath, he said, we have hope. <laughs> this is a long book. I wish I could believe that. Ran across some old letters and journals from the folks who lived here before. They were full of hope, excitement. Andrew, Commander Ford, caught me reading, but I guess he's been reading them too. He said their hope worried him. It was misguided, he said. Just like we were in Ward 16, just like I am now. I couldn't help but snort. What the hell do we have to be hopeful for? He laughed when I told him. He actually thinks we'll survive, but we'll all come back from this somehow. I thought he was naive, but... Is hope so it kept us going, isn't it? It's kept us alive so far. It must have, or I must have said as much because he smiled and said we were only alive because of people like me, people who caught the details he missed and challenged his optimism. He said my cynicism made his optimism more real. I'm laughing again just thinking about all the things that we worried about. He's worried about having hope. Anything is about. He thinks I'm keeping us alive. God, what a man. Good God. <clears throat> Had another root dream last night. This one was different. Real. They were waiting for us in my dream near the hotel courtyard where we've been growing food. I told Ford about it. I thought he'd dismiss it. God knows my CO did that uh, often enough, but he said it was worth checking out. Good thing, too, because they were here waiting. We fought them off because of my dream. Afterwards, I admitted my other dreams to Ford, and he said it had been going on for a while. He told me to tell the others, so I told the rest of the seven. We'll see what happens, but I think it was the right call. He was a good man, Andrew. I always knew it, but I... He's a good man. Okay, but what would I even look like if I hit on the leader of the war ward? He doesn't need that right now. We're just trying to survive. Who the hell thinks of dating in a post-apocalyptic hellscape? I wonder who this is. August 69. Screw it. I'm asking him out. Well, hell. Turns out my feelings are mutual. Andrew didn't say anything because he was worried about what a relationship might do to a leadership within the ward. Would it look like favoritism? I wonder if this is how we find out our Commander Ford came to be. They bone! Would it affect how the others saw me? What about when we argued? He started asking a thousand questions until I shut him up. Ooh. And I realized as I was shutting him up that this was the point. No matter how risky it might be, love is exactly what makes surviving worth the trouble. Besides, we have a goddamn common foe out there. It's not like we'll ever disagree on that. Okay. There's a lot of pages left. Oh, no, no. One more. Okay. The last one. I'll do it. January 71. Holy hell. I forgot about this whole thing. Guess you could say I've been distracted by Andrew's supple lips. Andrew and I got married last month, and today I'm pregnant. Yep, this is the mama of our Captain Ford. I haven't told Andrew yet. I want to keep myself a keep it to myself a little longer. It's hard to believe there's a life inside me, a new person who didn't exist before. It was Andrew's idea. I thought he was crazy for even bringing it up. Who would raise a child in this creep show of an earth? Him and his damn optimism. But he's right. Children are the only future we have. I don't know what will happen to the little one, or hell, to us, but bringing a child into this world the root are trying to rip away from us feels like rebellion. It feels like hope. And God damn it, that's not exactly what we need right now. Okay, cool. Cool exposition. Let's find the fucking basement. Whew. That wore your old, uh, your old man out, y'all. I'm your old man now, just so you know. I heard those roots screaming from here. I don't care. Thank you, you for restoring our power, stranger. 
You've helped more than you know. Everyone loves me. There's nothing on the map. Oh, there is a very big flashing item on the map to indicate where I'm supposed to go. Ignore that sentence. So it's to my left up top, maybe? So maybe right directly where I came from? That seems probable. I do have the dopest hat in the world now, though. I do think it also helps take away some of the cartoonishness from the game that I was having trouble with the graphics with. What the fuck, man? Where are you, Ford? Tell me where to go. Key's not worth anything unless it's plugged into that terminal downstairs. Oh, I see. Okay, fine. I just saw the flashing red light. So it's in here to the left. I see. God, you run weird in this game. Seems like there might have been a more direct route, but this is fine. That looks like where the key would go. I'm gonna dodge it and then put it in. This is very uh, Resident Evil. I mean, look, if it's gonna mix elements I like from all games, that's fine. Apologies for the silence there. I was thinking. Initialize Datla? I have a dope beard. Really something, isn't it? read about it but I never saw it working this red eye might be our only door to the outside world now you want to get out of here this is your shot my grandfather was the commander before me they called him the founder of Ward 13 he brought everyone to Ward 13 when the route first attacked he was determined to learn where the root came from. He spent so much time out there, searching. And one day, he didn't come back. He knew the outside world better than anyone here. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Was that supposed to happen? All right, it says fade to white. I guess I got through the uh, tutorial. Activate the red crystal. Do I have to walk up to it or do it from here? I like the music so far. I'm kind of surprised actually by how much I do. Okay, so these are our bonfires. And I'm assuming they're going to also be warp points for us. Travel. Founders hideout. It says Earth, so I wonder if we're going to be going other places. Select game mode. Campaign from the ashes. A storm approaches. The root grows stronger. Find a way... Uh, find a way to the uh, atoll and destroy their source before humanity's last remnant is wiped out, or wiped out forever. Yeah, I want the campaign. Like, what does that mean? Founders hideout. Is that not where I am? I guess maybe that's back in Earth, and then from Earth, I guess maybe one of the options will be the hideout. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely in a new place. So I've teleported. We don't seem inspired by the fact that happened. I guess probably we're used to the supernatural. Natural. Natural. I turned up the brightness for you guys in this episode compared to the last one. Hopefully it's a little bit better for you. If not, we'll tweak it for the future. Okay, we have a key card. A, a route we've been studying. I guess this is his desk. 
Pa, I'm dying. No two ways about it. Always thought the route would get me or I'd live forever like you, but we can't all be heroes. You're the only person in this world who thinks he can stop the route. You know that? The rest of us are just trying to live our lives best we can. Me and Ellen have had to do it without you. Oh, ho, ho. <coughs> I'm going to tell you to stop. Not again. Just don't think you're sacrificing for us. We've sacrificed enough. Always your daughter, Nadine. I guess we don't know if that's Ford yet. Or our Ford, I should say. These, like, hung up root are fucking scary, man. We're going to find out it's like a gateway to hell situation. We're playing Doom 2. Ellen, I want you to know that I love you and that I'm sorry. Sorry for so many things. Words won't fix this. I know that. It's time for me to go. Took me a while from uh, from saying to doing, but here I am. I'm leaving. Wait, what does that say? I'm leaving to speak with the root mother in an old church. To speak with the root mother? Jesus. In the old church past the subway tunnels. She'll show me the path away from this world, and then I'll be gone. Goodbye. Huh. I'm trying to, like, decipher that last sentence a little bit. I'm leaving to speak with the root mother in the old church past the subway tunnels. She'll show me the wet path away from this world, and then I'll be gone. Okay, we're going to, like, hell or something eventually. And we're out in the world. Oh, I certainly like how it looks outside more than I liked how it looked inside. Oh, let's fight. It's been a minute. Now, how do how does gunfire attract other enemies? That's one thing about Dark Souls. There's no sound within reason, with, except for like running and things like that. But I wish I had a longer ranged weapon. I literally can't. There's like the dead space doesn't allow me. Okay, so you can. That can be like your. What in the world is that enemy? How's that? <laughs> you bastard! Is that me? Taunting? That's not like me. I'm just kidding. I'm going to taunt the shit out of these demons. Again, I mentioned this in the first episode. Don't love that they can just spawn out of the ground right in front of you. But I do like that we have our health back. Our refills. I am curious if people prefer this in a uh, controller or a keyboard mouse. Um, you'll have to let me know. Because it's a shooter. So I could see the benefit. But I also prefer the joysticks for the action game purposes. For the dodging and maneuvering. Alright, I like the streets. Before we press this way, though, I am curious if there's anything else hidden this way. I apologize for making you watch me run all the way back down this alley. But I'm just very... I very much wish that exploration rewarded you a bit more in this game. Because I've been a little bit disappointed with that, actually. I feel like every nook and cranny I've seen or peeked into hasn't really rewarded you with much. And I understand it's just a Souls-like. That doesn't mean it has to be exactly like Souls. But that is something that I personally really appreciate from the Souls series that I wish I could see a little bit more of. How in the world do I equip... What is that in my left D-pad? Oh, I took it. Shit. It's something for 10 minutes. Whatever it was. Oh, that reminds me. They said I could hit this to see some of the stuff that I picked up. Liquid escape. When consumed, the hero will be returned to the latest or last activated checkpoint. None of this is real. It ain't real, I tell you. This is all just a simulation running for someone else's pastime. Not me, though. <laughs> Not me. I got a way out. <coughs> okay. Iron. Common resource used to reinforce basic weapons and armor up to five. And boss weapons to level three. Oldest material in the world, or at least the world that's left. Then we have the luminite, luminite crystal. It's rare, so it's a drop. Uh, resource used to craft boss weapons and weapon mods. It can also be used to reinforce boss weapons and the dragon heart. Oh, we can improve the dragon heart. That's pretty awesome. I wonder who has the capability to do that. Before the root came, we found veins of this stuff all around the red crystals. Commander Neville had us dig up anything and every uh, dig up along with everything else. <laughs> Figure out how to use it. And the key cord. Ford left this in his hideout on the surface. He must not have trusted anyone in the ward with it. When Ford founded the ward crimes buried see he buried secrets in its walls maybe you never meant him to see the light but buried things have a funny habit of coming back sure do all right i figure we'll i mean i have no idea how far it will be but i would like to set finding another checkpoint as like our next 
sort of task. Unless we run into some kind of boss fight that's going to take hours for us to bang our heads on. Can I do anything with this? Does not open from this side. It is a souls like after all. So ammo <coughs> could become a problem if we missed too much and didn't seek out items on the ground, especially, obviously, ammo. I do want to know it's this direction. I want to know it's every direction. That thing looks slightly tougher than... What are you? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh shit. It is a summoner. Oh, we finally died. Okay, we get to see what happens. I didn't mean to sound so excited. But I was curious what would happen. Also, I'm not really sure what our experience is and if we leave it on the ground. So we're about to find all that out now. Now what I find is in the midst of gunfire, I have trouble keeping an eye on my health and I'm curious to see if that's something I'll be able to manage better as we make more headway in the game. Do I have to do all this stuff? No, okay. I don't know that we picked up much except the key card anyway, but I'm just curious how it affects, you know, your okay, pickups and things. This is it. Why am I yelling? Okay. Similarly to the Souls game though, new areas, or excuse me, not new, but areas that aren't new, areas you've already navigated through, you can navigate much more quickly. God, I'm still getting stuck on tree branches. Like, I'm stuck on this tree right now. That is extremely, extremely unfortunate. Okay, we're going to exit to main menu and come back in. Look, just the realities of the game. I'm hoping that saves more like souls where it's kind of what even no matter how far you made in progress it put you back at the most recent bonfire but you'll still have any items or things that you found find the subway entrance no i mean i'm gonna have to go through the same stuff mm, that makes that bug a little bit more annoying that's okay though it technically had i guess the Subway entrance or whatever it was. Okay. <laughs> when I said the next checkpoint, I meant I should have clarified. I mean the next new checkpoint. So going back to the one I died at did not count. Nor did getting stuck on that tree branch. Now, I don't think I have to pick shit up. Oh, I didn't know this is before though. What is the labyrinth? The old church. Labyrinth map level two. Massive tower appears certain locations. Entrance to another dimension. Okay, we're, we're going to be a dimensional traveler. I don't think that that's a surprise. I should make sure that I have that item in my inventory, though. The key. Yep. We're good. Alright, and let's not get stuck on branches. I was pierced by it, to be fair. Perhaps the demon Great. shoved me through More it. And I didn't realize. News. Did that thing just disappear? In the world. I saw him go around the corner, but it made it look like he just like sort of evaporated. What's the opposite of apparated? Disappeared? Disapparated? Is that the core? Is that the root word of disappeared? No. I don't know. What I'm about anymore. I want that queen to die. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Heal. Alright, so she's mean. Is all I need to know. Okay. Got to use our cover. All good. We survived that time. On to the next one. Had I killed her before? Perhaps I just kept a safe enough distance. We have no consumable heals, which means we have two heals left until our next checkpoint. Not ideal. Not terrible. Assuming we're one-third of the way there. <coughs> oh, 
Want a little range to start. I hate when that happens, dude. Shit. Was that poison? Nice. We got her. Oh, those dudes are bad news, though. Come on. All right, we're getting we're getting more of the flow of combat, I'd say. How's that? So that's pretty good. You bastard. I like the shit talking throughout the missions, Ooh, definitely. I mean, that was rough. We crushed, bro. I don't think I ever gave my dude a name, did I? Just looking for pickups, even though we have no evidence to suggest that they exist. I would like to know. I also wish it was more smooth to run constantly, or at least consistently. I wonder if there's a shotgun that can hold more rounds. <coughs> Alright. Well, there's daddy. I don't like calling demons daddy. Uh, excuse me? What is that? No, not that. I know what you are. <gasps> Yikes, he scoobs! Oh, we've got problems. Oh my god. They were relentless. I can't even read the Edgar Allan Poe thing though, because my SSD is so fast. So, uh, suck my SSD. All right. Look, very fair. I'm gonna go fuck it up though. I get it now. I mean, I don't get it. We're better at combat, but we're still not good at combat. Also, I wonder if we get enough ammo that ammo is not gonna be a problem. Also, do enemies leash? These are all questions we don't have answers Here to just yet. Come. Also, I wonder what that buff was that I accidentally drank that I can't seem to get back now. Enemy spawn locations are random. That's another thing that I seem to be noticing here. Which makes for exciting encounters, I guess. Like, you can't really prep for your runbacks, especially since things uh, apparate or disapparate out of nowhere. I wonder if I can stick right up here and make that turn in a faster fashion. Let us see. We're stuck on the wall. Nope, that isn't what we wanted. I was hitting the wrong button to heal last time. So at least now I know that. What does bleed mean? Like, is there something I can do to stop it? Oh, it hurts me if I dodge. Is there anything we can do about that status effect? Damn it. It's a risk assessment situation. God bless, dude. I'm in trouble. I'm looking at all my meters to see what bleed does to me. And is there anything we can do to heal it? Like crouch? God, that ailment lasts too long. Does the heal make it go away? No. Well, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, well, fuck. I mean, like, that's like a catastrophic injury, like a game-ending injury. I'm doing this just for funsies at this point. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care if I die at this point. Dodge doesn't even work now. Oh, it's because I'm using the wrong button. Yeah, we're out of ammo. Oh. 
Cool. We did. Alright, so bleed is like a terrible ailment. Either I missed a tutorial on how to cure it and it's something reasonable, or it's the worst status ailment ever put into a video game. Either way, let's not get it. So they do give you ammo back. Is it random? Also, how do I know if my heal is charged? I forgot I had a heal as a mod on this weapon. Oh boy. That was intense and problematic. I'm kind of curious to see if I can... If, I'm just going to try the, the do the enemy's leash strategy right now. You know what? Save the ammo. I forgot that that's a, a thing we want to do. So on smaller enemies, there's really no reason to be using my gun. I'm going to sprint and hope that they're not keeping up with me. Doesn't seem to be wishful thinking. Seems like I'm. it's actually alright. Alright, you I'm ready for. <coughs> Okay. Much better approach. Oh, it's over. It's really not, though. There's the witch. Uh. Oh, fuck, the baddie's coming for me. Okay, okay, get back, 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 get back. Okay, let's regroup. I'm just sprinting. We're just yikes. Okay, the range on that's a little dumb, no? Can we all agree? Okay. Okay, he's Hell down. Yeah. Now, is he an enemy who doesn't respawn like oh. a mini boss? It's over. All right, so we got some scrap. That was tough, man. Real tough. So I think we got the mage-looking guy, woman. We got the beefy cake. <laughs> there was nothing over in that corner. First go. Hmm. All right, there's still a lot over here. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, it's over. He says he says it's over a lot, which suggests to me if you need to say it more than once, it probably wasn't over. You need to reassess your surroundings, sir. I would like to find a crystal or a shortcut or whatever we are calling that in this game. Which I'm going to guess is going to be that gate, maybe? Alright. Ammo conservation is a new priority. One that shouldn't be too big a deal. Right? I only have one heal left. I'm not sure what the right arrow does. So I'm going to hold on to it for a sec. Excuse me. We're into it right the fuck now. And I'm also gonna LB right now. Oh, it's you. Crap. I'm in trouble. I did not heal when I thought I had healed. So we're actually okay. Ooh, I did all that <laughs> with a false sense of health security. Apologies for being so quiet. I felt that I needed to focus. What did I just pick up? Frenzy dust. I thought it said fairy dust. Glad it didn't. I'm going to check the upper floor here. A lot of, lot of time between checkpoints here so far. Questioning that a little bit, but hoping that we're gonna circle back to a, to a checkpoint soon. I guess like at the end of the day, I haven't dealt with anything like too catastrophic. Oh, hello. What's in here? A lot of scrap. Okay. I think it's used. I think it's my money. It's my experience. I guess you don't drop experience on the floor. So I guess in that sense, it's not a souls like. I mentioned thinking before that there'd be some kind of experience recovery mechanic that's not the case so it's not as quite as punishing to die as a souls game Sit and stay down still no health ammo but no health what you need ammo is certainly a commodity it just seems to me that health is a bigger one at the moment What's back this way? Hold it up. I want to make sure this isn't a shortcut because this is already on our map. And why? Ah, drop down. Huh. Is there any kind of ladder to be kicked or anything? No. Well, shit. We go on then. A long stretch without any checkpoints. What's that? Maybe that's a checkpoint. Looks promising. Or like a boss fight. I guess I don't really know. Or is this like a, a subway entrance? Oh, art is zooming on weapons with a scope. I don't think I have one, but that's good to know. Maybe down in this subway there will be, yep, a checkpoint. Super good. Okay. It's our first one. And you even sit like a bonfire. Resting at checkpoints replenishes ammo and dragon hearts at the cost of respawning all basic enemies in the world. In multiplayer, resting also respawns any fallen allies. All players must be using a chest point, a check, a chest point, a checkpoint in order to rest. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, I think that's what we're going to call this episode. Obviously, I think we made a good little bit of progress. We'll pick it up in the next episode, but we've made it to the subway tunnel. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're thinking of the game, what kind of tactics you're using, what classes are you, what weapons you're using. Are there things you're finding that help make things a little bit easier? I'd love to hear about that in the comments below. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. We'll have new episodes just about every day of the week, and we hope that you'll join us for those. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you again next time.